Hello, it's me again, Ike Adonis, your teacher in mathematics in the modern world. Some people may think that mathematics was made to torture our brains on a nonsense numbers. But what if math is already present in nature and mathematicians are just translating it to us using symbols and numbers? Have you ever counted the number of petals in a flower? You might think that any number is possible, but you might be surprised because the nature seems to favor a particular set of numbers like 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and 34. It may seem a coincidence to you, but it is actually forming a pattern. In this sequence, the next number is found by adding up the two numbers before it. For example, 2 is found by adding the two numbers before it. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Following the same pattern, 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8 and 5 plus 8 equals 13. This pattern is called Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence was popularized in Europe by Leonardo of Pisa, also known as Leonardo Fibonacci. That's the name of the pattern, right? is one of the most influential mathematicians of the Middle Ages because Hindu-Arabic numeral system, which we still use today, was popularized in the Western world because of his book, Liber Abaci, or Book of Calculations. In this book, Fibonacci posed and solved a problem involving the growth of population of rabbits based on idealize assumptions. Now, let's investigate the problem further. If two newborn rabbits are put in a pen, how many rabbits will be in a pen after one year? Assume that rabbits always produce one male and one female offspring. Can reproduce once every month, can reproduce once they are one month old and they never die. We start with the first pair of newborn rabbits at the beginning of the month. Since they are too young to reproduce an offspring, when they get old at the beginning of the second month, we still have one pair. This time, the rabbits are old enough to reproduce. At the start of the third month, we will have two pairs. In the fourth month, the old pair will produce another pair. The first set of offspring will be old enough to reproduce. So on the fifth month, we will have five pairs of rabbits. By using the Fibonacci sequence, we will have 144 pairs in the beginning of the 12th month. However, we need to identify the number of rabbits after a year. So we need to continue the sequence up to the 13th term of the sequence. So the final answer to the problem is 233 pairs or 466 rabbits. Fibonacci sequence is a wonderful series of numbers that could start with 0, or 1. Let's visualize these numbers using square tiles. I will start with a 1 by 1 square, then another. Together, they will form a 1 by 2 rectangle. Above that, a 2 by 2 square. Next to that is a 3 by 3 square. Beneath that, a 5 by 5 square. Now, if we will continue to do this and connect opposing diagonals continuously, it will reveal the Fibonacci spiral. And this spiral can be seen a lot in nature 
architectural designs, arts, human body, and beyond. Going back to the rectangle, what if we were going to divide the two dimensions 8 and 13 in this case? Notice that it's just like dividing two consecutive Fibonacci numbers, right? Doing this up to the possible pairs of Fibonacci numbers we will give us the golden ratio. The golden ratio is approximately equal to 1.618 represented by the Greek letter phi or pi. In math, the golden ratio is a term used to describe the relationship of two figures where the numbers seem to be in some form of complementary ratio. The golden ratio is commonly used to calculate perfect spirals, rectangles, arcs, and other figures. For example, a rectangle with a length of 8.09 inches and a width of 5 inches is in the golden ratio because 8.09 divided by 5 is equal to 1.618. Since the discovery of golden ratio, many known individuals incorporate this magnificent number to their greatest arts and creations. During the Renaissance, Leonardo da Vinci used the proportion set forth by the golden ratio in constructing his masterpieces. Sandro Botticelli, Michael Angelo and others appeared to have employed the same technique in their work. To man's marvelous architecture like Parthenon, Taj Mahal, Roman arches, Egyptian pyramid, Eiffel Tower, and many more were built based on golden ratio. Even in the Bible, in Exodus chapter 25 verse 10, God commands Moses to build the Ark of the Covenant, in which the home to his covenants with the Israelites, and even the Ark was built from the Golden Ratio. In the 1940s, Leonardo da Vinci illustrated a mathematical textbook entitled Divina Proportioni by Luca Pascioli. In this book, along with his work, Vitruvian Man, he pointed out the existence of golden ratio in human body. This can be proven by using the comparisons of the measurements of our body. It is even applied to our DNA. Psychologists have also rooted that many celebrities and other personalities have facial body and bone structures that conform to the golden ratio. In nature, aside from the branches patterns of trees, animal horns, spiral of snails, and seed beds, honeybees colonies maintain a ratio of males and females of 1 is to 1.618. With all of these patterns, Fibonacci sequence and golden ratio help us understand and solve the mystery of nature. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos.